<laughs> so the next presenter is Dr. David Morgan. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back from the break. Uh, my name's David Morgan. I'm confused. I have two names. Uh, oh, it's not showing. And I also don't have a presentation. That's fantastic. I've got two names. I've got two research affiliations at the University of Cambridge. One uh, which I'm just starting is as part of the Centre for Sustainable Development. And I'm now the Deputy Course Director for the MPhil in Engineering for Sustainable Development. Uh, but my previous role, which I still retain an affiliation with, was the Centre for Industrial Sustainability. So I've created confusion by having multiple affiliations and multiple names. If it, you still remain confused at the end of the presentation or have a headache because of the colour, then <laughs> what I suggest you do is that you buy me a drink later tonight and I can explain it in more detail. Uh, so my education, I did a, got a master's in engineering, uh, manufacturing engineering, so everything you need to know to be able to run a factory. I then decided I didn't want to run factories. Uh, I was much more interested in doing research, so I took on a PhD in polymer recycling. So this is taking shrink wrap bags uh, that you package uh, joints of meat and cheese in. We saw some fabulous joints of meat last night uh, at the restaurant. Uh, so taking that, these multi-laminar structures, and trying to figure out how we can process it in a way that stops it from going to landfill or to very low um, uh, quality uses. Turns out it's really difficult, and that's why it made for a good PhD. Uh, but then I decided after that, um, I was trying to take a square peg and fit it into a round hole. Um, and I've decided that it would be better to design better pegs and better holes in the first place. So the idea of designing better systems. And I joined the Centre for Industrial Sustainability, uh, run by Steve Evans, um, who you might have seen on some of uh, uh, Mali's papers and Sandra has also mentioned. And the main areas of research that we look at is non-labour resource efficiency in factories, We've been doing labour-based resource efficiency for 300 years. That was the, the essence of the Industrial Revolution. But we haven't spent as much time looking at non-labour resource efficiency, and that buys companies time, money, and understanding to help develop uh, more long-term plans. Generally, looking at how we integrate sustainability concepts into manufacturing-related businesses and processes, and then systems approaches for manufacturers, how we take more dimensions of performance, uh, how we take a longer term view and build that into the business process and help managers cope, uh, manufacturers cope with the risk and complexity. It's not just the sustainability of people in the planet, but the sustainability of the company that people are worried about, both as individual professionals and as, um, as sort of responsible people for their shareholders. So I'm going to talk on this slide, I'm going to talk about the research we do at the Centre for Industrial Sustainability, and I'll come on to sus the sustainable development side later. But we're interested in understanding the limits of efficiency. So we understand that there are some companies which are really excellent at delivering the non-labour resource efficiency I was talking about. But there are, a long, there are a lot of companies that are way far off the best. They haven't really addressed that. So we're interested in how to bring these companies up to the standard of the best. And to continue the theme of games, we've got a, a colleague who's developed a game uh, that helps companies at here understand some of the practices they can use and implement to get them to where the best performing are. But one of the questions we get asked by our collaborators, particularly the high performers, is how far can they go? Do we understand what the theoretical limits of performance are for given manufacturing processes so they can understand whether they need to change their system or whether they can keep progressing uh, on that track? We use, um, our colleagues use a word called Gintani to represent that fundamental limit to the process and you can ask Sandra uh, what that means at the bar later. Uh, when it comes to the integration of sustainability into manufacturing strategy and decision making, we understand that manufacturing works on quite fast product cycles compared to uh, the infrastructure. So we have system overlaps, the hard systems where production and offices overlap with the building, the industrial park, the city in which you're connected to, some of which don't change over periods of decades. So you have your innovation process is constrained by these factors, uh, not to mention the soft stuff associated with change management and how companies and people can be resistant to change and new ways of thinking. So. 
one of the challenges we have is how we help companies cope with complexity. And we saw yesterday with Whirlpool conducting experiments, uh, with our colleagues uh, conducting action research. This is something that very much informs the research that we do and the way that we think we can help companies the most. So we talk about action inquiry within companies, helping them reframe the system, rethinking their business model. Mi Ying will talk a little bit about that and we have some colleagues who've done some really excellent work about how you bring different forms of value into the business model conversation. We expand the system boundary by looking at how we can work with alternate partners and work with our existing partners in different ways. We talked about supplier integration earlier. Uh, and then the process of experimentation and learning. How do we help companies reduce risk by conducting small experiments which increase their understanding of the situation and then allow them to take action with more confidence? So this is one of the cycles that we use and we have uh, multiple PhD students who contribute to each of these uh, particular areas. But this is how we try and think about and situate the process as a whole. Publications. Um, Everyone's got way more publications than I have in the first session, pretty much, considering how long I've been working. So um, this is just to give you an idea of the range. Um, policy and industrial symbiosis implementation, Yuan Tao, one of my colleagues, uh, led that paper. From my uh, PhD research, looking at polymer film packaging and trying to understand how much of a contribution it makes to resource efficiency um, and whether its packaging is as bad as we, we all th uh, it's often portrayed to be and then looking at environmental performance variation within companies and understanding how they assess and develop knowledge for that. The future target journals I'm working on, uh, looking at business strategy in the environment, the Journal of Industrial Ecology, Journal of Cleaner Production, and Production Planning and Control for a number of papers. Mostly looking at the future of manufacturing uh, that we contributed to a government, a UK government report, which we'd like to refresh. Um, how we support pioneers. We realise that a lot of individuals are the. Pe it's often the individuals who are showing leadership within a company that are driving the change process. So how do we help and provide support for them? Practice maturity, frequency, efficiency, supply development for sustainability. Everyone's talking about redistributed manufacturing, so we have to write something on that. And industrial symbiosis. So that's the kind of areas I'm interested in and writing about at the moment. Um, these are the projects that sort of encompass um, all that material. This was conducted as part of the EPSRC Centre for Innovative Manufacturing. So I was fortunate enough that Steve and his colleagues won a load of money that allowed us to go off and do interesting projects without having to apply to funding bodies, which was rather fabulous. Um, current projects that are running within the centre that came from funding bodies. Uh, Maestri is a European project looking at developing a total efficiency framework for process industry. So we're delivering the industrial symbiosis work package within that. We're working with Max and Spencers to look at how they can innovate within their clothing um, uh, retail business and how they can get more clothes back and make a business of that so they're diverting material from landfill and delivering as much value as possible. And we've got into modelling. Everyone's going for modelling business models these days so we've decided to look at agent-based modelling as a way of exploring how business models can play a role in developing more sustainable industrial systems. In development, we've just uh, got through the expression of interest stage on system change for a circular economy. That's extending some of the business model work and bringing in physical material flows with that. And we've also collaborated with Imperial College looking at a uh, project reducing industrial energy demand. And we've got some Horizon 2020 things in the pipeline. Uh, I've taught uh, our under, on our undergraduate course, so this was the course I did as an undergraduate, so it's very weird being on the other side of it, uh, but that's t uh, providing some global context, scaring them so that they know they have to deal with sustainability, and then giving them some tools that help them deliver to that. Similar for ISMM, and this is my new course where I'm developing material on driving change towards sustainability, so looking at sustainable pr uh, principles, change management and ethics. Uh, alongside some material on design manufacturing, business models and context. So being in a mega city where the uh, challenges of sustainability are front and centre is a really fabulous experience. Industry collaborations, uh, AB Sugar, Brandix, India Apparel City, Vitsu, Toyota. If you're, interest, if you're interested in any of these companies or why we work with these companies, do talk to me afterwards. Um, 
I've been running a supply development program with ASICS. We also work with uh, non-governmental organizations like Forum for the Future who help other companies. So we've been helping them with their system innovation journey program. Uh, and working with Vitsu on returnable packaging and we want to work with more because industry is where it happens. It doesn't happen in academic journals. Thank you very much. Diolchen Vaur, this is how we say thank you in Welsh. Obrigado. Uh, thank you to FAPESP and the British Council for supporting this workshop and my participation in it and particularly to the org fabulous organising team uh, who've done such a fabulous job of getting us all to this wonderful place. Thank you.